Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie. She does it all. I'm here today to give you an update about the Haitian deportation from Texas. I just read something. They sent about 145 people three times. Like I think three flights went back to Haiti on Sunday, and they stated that um, on Tuesday they were gonna send six more flights. I mean, they're trying to send us back like with some kind of disease or something. Like, we're going to spread over people. Like, they can't take us anymore. I'm not sure what's going on. But anyway, I wanted to point out something that I saw on the news. Not only it hurts to see that, it, sure, it, it just kind of like bring me back to slavery time. I saw these Haitian were trying to cross and the police on the, on the horses are whipping them down. Listen, America, this is your country. You choose to do what to do. But those people are human beings. You don't beat them up. Where's the dignity? Where's the respect? I understand you don't want them here in your country. You are sending them back from their original country. That's fine. That's fine. Do what you have to do. But do not put your hand on my brothers and my sisters. Who do you guys think you are? Are you bringing slavery back? And where are the Haitian community? Now it's time for you guys to stand up, lean your fella for us, let the American know this is not how you treat human beings. You can't whoop a grown man. And nobody says anything about it. Now it's time for us to stand up, say something. If we all get together and say something, they will listen. America, Haitians are watching. We are listening. Cameras are everywhere. Whatever you do to our brothers and sisters, we see it. We know what's going on. Remember that. Now you're whipping us. You're beating us. You are bringing slavery back. Okay? We get together on taste of what is it like to be beaten, treated like crap. When there was a police officer helping you out, we have Haitian police officers. We have doctors, police officers. We have lawyers, police officers. And the children are being born here. You never know one, 10 years or five years or 20 years from now. They might become president of the United States because they were born here, they citizen. When you whipping a Haitian, you whipping a doctor, a lawyer. Our brothers and sisters are not dogs. You don't treat them like dogs, they are human beings. Have some respect and dignity. I have never seen no other group of immigrants being whipping up, beating down, throwing in the river because you don't want them here. I have seen everybody else being processed kindly, nicely. Yes, America, you want blue eyes, you want blonde hair to come here. They don't want to come here. We come here, we appreciate what you giving us, the future we can make from here. The blue eyes and blonde hair from Finland that you want to come here, they don't want to be in America. You, you, you want people that don't want to be here to come here. The one that want to be here, you treat them like crap. You are beating them down. You reminded me of slavery time. Have some dignity, have some respect for the human race. Yes, send them back to Haiti, that's fine. We'll deal with the problem when we get there. But do not push your hand on our Haitian brothers and sisters. And for the Haitian community, I am so ashamed of you guys. Now it's time to speak up. You shut up. You like a chicken, you're not saying crap. And I am disgusted with it. When life gives you lemon, you make lemonade out of it. May God bless you and have a great day. Every day, I'm going to try to give you a little update of what's going on to our Haitian brothers. That's fine. We're going to go back. We've been through a lot. And we're going to find a way to deal with it. But don't put your hand on our grown Haitian men, sisters and brothers and kids. That's not right. I cannot change it. But I will voice my opinion. Okay? I will voice my opinion on how you're treating my brothers and my sisters in the body. Because I don't see no other race being through it. But Haitian, yes. Take care and have a great day.